Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow playing Slay the Princess. And last time, by merely following my whims, I broke reality. And then the game acknowledged it, and things got pretty wild. And there is an entity behind the princess I'm allegedly uh, here to kill. And it appears that this entity would desire, back to chapter one, yeah, would desire to... You're on a path in the woods. Okay, and desire the path uh, is a cabin. A variety and of experiences, of and is a princess. the entity also claimed that I would forget everything, so here we go. We are back to square one, which is great. Okay, I have a skip option to skip ahead. That is neat. That was doled out before. So I think that for this first second experience, I think I'm going to play it as straight as possible. I am a hero sent here to kill the princess. I have a mission. I have the ability and You're the the mentality if you don't, to do it. It will be. No, I am ready for it. I am ready to just go ahead and do it. By the way, no. Whenever one of these is uh, is orange, that's the one that I'm selecting. All right. I'm curious. Well, no, 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 no. We're, we're I am ready. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Don't mention it. It's all part of the. Journey. I'm ready to go ahead and do my work. You make your way up the short path. To That's the right. You'll find the princess within. Thank you, lovely A warning, British man. Before you go any further. I think it's British. I'm terrible at detecting accents. She will lie. She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to no, stop from slaying her. Survival instinct. Don't believe a word she says. Well, don't worry, Mr. Narrator. I am a hero. I am going to proceed to the cabin. Check that out. Yeah, that's right. Open that door animation. The interior of Stable the floor. Is Great. Bare. The air is stale and musty, oh. and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. That's a bad the type only of paint. of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. That's right. I came here to kill a monarch, but I don't have a weapon of my own. The blade Maybe is I do. your implement. Okay. You'll need it if you want to do All this. All right. Part. Well, if you say so, narrator, you're a lot more aware of uh, what's going on. You take the blade for it the It made table. a swing sound. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. That would be pretty silly. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, you can't. You can't see my cursor. Uh, but uh, my cursor used to be like a reptile hand. Now it's a reptile hand, hand, hand like holding a shiv, basically. The mirror isn't here. Remember the mirror? No mirrors the here. The basement Ooh, creeps a new angle. open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. And see, skip now is uh, hollowed out, which means this is new. What happens if I click this? History. Okay, I can just go back and look at stuff. Got it. Got it, guy. Got it. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? It's me! She sounds The dangerous. hero. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Okay, so yeah. You just kind of slightly affect your voice when you're Don't using my voice. Your it's your voice. part of the manipulation. Okay, so if I am the hero here at the set and the princess, I don't want to go like, ho, 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 I'm Mr. Clown. Uh, yeah, just something that sounds reasonable. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Oh, no. People remember. Sup? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes I don't think he would say sup. <laughs> There's a heavy chain around her wrist. Binding her to the far wall of the basement. Only one, though. Wonder what happened to the other. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Yes. But see, this is me speaking. The me that's not inside your head, but like a spot beyond inside your head. 
focus it's on the weird. task at hand. Got it. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Um, yes. Do I have, like, a lie? Hmm. Which is the best answer? All right. Let's just go. Let's just go. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. It's not chit chat. Oh. That's not why I'm here for. Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I got a sweet blade. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Accurate. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Okay. Well, okay. No, wait. Narrator says she would try to bluff her She's way armed. out. That if could be a bluff. Now, it'll be too late. End this. Or she could be a wizard. And, like, it's like, it don't matter. Hmm. That's a good point. I'm positive. Okay, so instead of checking for ourselves, we're going to trust the voice. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hey, it could be like hidden inside her hand. It could be like Hesitating. wrist spikes. Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Then I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. charge the princess blade in hand but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct a blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches Whoa, wait she had neck. sleeves blood sprays from the cut your where artery painting the princess with strokes of red you'd better finish your task quickly before you run out of time I don't know how you hit that lady but ah uh, that is really impressive I like how die is an option. Sinking the blade into the princess's heart. There we go. Mutual self-destruction. Did my thing. Wow, you got real anime. Oh. Hey, trust me, princess. There's a part of you who wishes to experience this. Ah, the blood of Cursor that's a knife is now all bloodied at the tip. The two of you collapse on the floor together, rapidly bleeding out. I mean, she seems into it. <laughs> Look at her smile. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder, do you really think that this was enough to stop me? Lady, I know this is not enough. It's like she's convinced she can't die. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. I did it! The Razor. So, first, same first chapter, You're on a, path a different second one. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Are you going to acknowledge that this is happening her. again? If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, okay, okay. There's no wall, though, in the back, uh, interestingly. To end the character I am embodying, which is an assassin that believes is a hero, um, I think it would be straight to the point. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. Okay, narrator is not you aware of the time loop. Spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Is that so? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. The cheated. He's just pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. The cheated. Stabbed to death. Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. When we asked you if you were sure she didn't have a weapon on her, you said you were positive she didn't. I mean, maybe he just didn't know. It turns out she did, because when we charged her, she started uh, stabbing us. 
to It play. is possible that the narrator is not an omniscient one. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. That's kind of funny, because it is true. This character was created for this exact purpose. No. Let's just go. Let's just go. We're here oh, for yeah. a job. Before you go any further, she will lie, uh -huh. she will cheat, and she couldn't be more on the money. Okay, so I We're skipped really ahead there. This, aren't we? I say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. That's right. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. It's all gonna be good. Lots of options. <laughs> This is nice. When the whoa, of the what is a happened mess of here? Wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Yeah, no kidding. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What happened though? Like, why is it all messed up? Walk up to the wall next to the basement <laughs> door. It's so once again, he does Isn't not see the see. mirror. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You yeah. reach forward and rub so your that hand happened the, the same. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I'm doing my stretches. Also, I'm it confirming I'm still a lizard person. Down. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. All right. Well, I will take the blade. You take the blade from the table. Yep. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Accurate. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to do much with that. It's gonna be real. Normal the stairs, they're open, just really unsafe. The, once have been stairs. the fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. So, so if the other one was sort of like me pun, like the wor a world punishing me for perceived a perceived chaotic attitude, is this judging me for violence? Right. I wonder. Scraping. I told you she has something. I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Can you beg him to be out of my head? A grating voice <laughs> carries up the stairs. Grating voice. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. It's pretty good out of tune. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act okay, this time. Cheated. You, you're, you're pretty slow on the uptake here. As you descend the Oh boy, step, the whole the thing here looks princess different. comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across like the just, room. Like, just the whole... everything is completely different. I wonder if she remembers us. Absolutely! Look, that is the face of someone who remembers someone who Finally, stabbed her somebody. right in the Boy, chest. Get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Chain singular, by the way. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our I just don't know how down. we can approach her without she endangering ourselves. It's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. That's true. Huh, doing the razor without grabbing the knife, I wonder what would for? happen. You are here to rescue me, right? Maybe I should, like, not be wielding my knife out at all times. Uh,
Okay, I'm not sure which one I want. You know what? Okay, let's be straightforward. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. You're very bad at hiding this, lady. Last time, what are you talking? Narrator, about? you get out of this. You're you're not part of this. Like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. Can you, do we have enough decks like thrower dagger? I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ask her. Last time. If somebody came into my house and tried to kill me, and I cut his neck open, and then he stabbed me in the heart, and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, surely I would remember that. So, so I mean, see, the joke is that she clearly remembers that. But <laughs> I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. So, what, you know, like, like, you know, she's just playing. She's playing, clearly. Oh, I have. And I'd like to call her out on it. I don't know if I will have the option of it. stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. Is there a way to but kill her? Is armed. The way mm. I am. So stop second guessing yourself and do your job. Without. But I'm nervous. Oh no, you're not. All the more it's reason fine. to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Uh. Okay, okay, yeah, I can, okay, I can call her out. Just gonna go through here real quick. Yeah, no, yeah, I will call her out. Uh, 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 that's exactly what happened. Would I just lie? Yes. Would I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? Absolutely. I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. No, yeah, see, you even slip. I didn't even notice you slip. <laughs> Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Oh, narrator, you're so slow. It's only going to end with violence. Or you're just... inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. Or you are a construct of the universe that has kind of very limited parameters and to which you can understand the universe, and thus we are just acting like a strange aberration of which you are not able to properly comprehend. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's try this. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. You're saying my insides are not worth looking at because I'll take that as a personal insult. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't hard. Okay, narrator, why don't you go ahead and approach her then? Uh. But if we killed each other, then why are we here? Right now. Both of us normal and unstabbed. Huh, they keep the text this time. I don't know how she can prove her lack of... It would be proving so the lack of something is hard. I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you. But I don't have one, so I can't. The princess mm. smiles as she pulls her hands from behind her back. Okay. But look at this. Hands. Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with. That is true. Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. Okay, she's actually shaking her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too. Hmm. Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. Practically is not zero.
Just looking if there's any new options in the bottom, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Like in your hair. You, of my you have like a lot of hair. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait, that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. <laughs> <laughs> Those are for me only. They have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Her smile drops for a moment. Her expression is sharp and flat. Hey, cheater narrator, any of you got like just like a light or something instead? I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. Oh, oh, we we emptied out that line of conversation. I'm gonna ask this again. What? No! No! I hmm. wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. For no reason. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? I mean, how many times does she have to vaguely threaten me for you to realize that's why We're I'm not approaching still her? We're figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? Uh, comparatively speaking. You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. I'm gonna say, I like cheated more than I liked... Uh, the other guy, whose name I forget. No. I have my dignity. Contrarian. Fine. And will continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. <sighs> okay. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly <laughs> at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. Sounds like a great idea! I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. This does not make sense, because I am still here with the whole purpose of destroying her. Whatever. Let's see what happens. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. We're having a conversation in comic book timing. <laughs> but your focus oh. is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Hmm. Who's meat? Not ours. No, it right. is ours. Hers at first. Oh, okay. Then yours. Double meat. Hehe. <laughs> How? What, what did she even hit us with? Yeah. You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. It's like from behind us. And oh, then the red <laughs> okay. The <laughs> okay. Where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Obviously. Bull. Shit. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> yeah, well, you too. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. 